Hey guys, it's Sam here from Minimal Desk Setups. We're back here again, and this time we have a guide about how to put together your own desk setup. There's been a lot of anticipation for this guide, so we really hope that we'll be able to give you some help into how to put together your own desk setup. So for this video, we've prepared a brand new space that we'll be refurbishing with a desk that was sent to us by Autonomous. But at the same time, we're going to use all of the other items that we already had for the desk. And then we're going to put together what we think is the best minimal style desk setup that we can bring. So let's have a look. I think the desk itself is probably one of the most important parts of the setup. It impacts the overall clutter, aesthetics and ergonomics and it's pretty much one of the main reasons why we started this channel. In terms of the desk, you really want to consider how it will be used, the dimensions, the build quality and finally the aesthetics. For our setup, we chose a standing desk from Autonomous. With a standing desk, we are able to adjust the height of the desk to a perfect height and the white legs and the white top complement the rest of the room extremely well. The important part is to make sure that the desk is adequately sized. Here we have a 53 inch by 29 inch tabletop. I think for most use cases, a 140 centimeter by 70 centimeter tabletop would be the best size as it offers enough depth for you to have your monitors placed on your table. If your room is bigger, then a wider tabletop would make your desk setup look more minimal and less cluttered because you have more space for your peripherals. Once you've got your desk sorted, you'll need a good place to put it. Our top tip is to allow for as much natural light as possible, whether through a window or a skylight, as warm natural light will go a long way to improving any desk setup. To help complement the ample natural light, we're also using a Xiaomi monitor lamp to light up the desk at night. Okay, what's next? You're going to need to start selecting the right peripherals for improving the look and productivity of your setup. For our setup, we've gone with two Dell 1440p monitors, our light bar, which we can now install on top, a large desk mat by Novel Keys to add some color and pop to the desk, a custom mechanical keyboard by KBD fans, and finally, a Logitech MX Master 3 wireless mouse. Everything will be plugged into a Dell XPS 15, providing us with more than enough grunt to handle our day-to-day -day tasks. Now that we've got the essentials on our desk, it's time to get rid of the things that we don't need. We have the grid here from the Elegant Company and items that are used every day like our phones, pens and headphones. Items that are less frequently used can go into the drawer, underneath or to the side of your desk. Cable clutter is the bane of minimal desk setups. So we're going to have to talk about cable management in a follow-up video because there's just simply not enough time to talk about it in detail. But sure, using wireless devices as much as possible will help, but there will still be plenty of cables lying around. Tip number five is to consider using cable management trays such as the IKEA Signum along with cable ties and Velcro strips and adjustable cable fixtures to help organize and hide away all the cables. We're going to be releasing our cable management kit soon to help you guys manage your cables, so stay tuned for that. Desk ergonomics is an important factor to help you work longer and be more productive. That's why it is number six on our list of things to consider. You will want to look at monitor height. Using an adjustable monitor arm can really help dial in your exact settings to reduce neck and shoulder strain. When using an ergonomic chair, consider factors such as adjustability, support, and comfort when choosing a chair. For our setup, we've chosen the Steelcase Leap, which offers a great level of support. Finally, whenever we're tired of sitting, we can always raise the desk and work standing up. Once you have your dream desk setup complete, tip number seven is to keep it clean. You really have to build a habit for this sort of thing. Doing it as a once-off won't help you maintain your setup. So I suggest you find a place for all your items and assess your setup at the end of the day and put away less frequently used items. Clean larger areas such as your desk frequently. A portable vacuum like the Basius portable vacuum cleaner is a great way to clean the desk. And finally, our last but most important tip is to make the space yours. So maybe you can put in some plants, some pictures or maybe even paintings. At the end of the day, this should be the place where you want to sit and be at. So here it is guys, our final product. So let's cue the B-roll. If you got any tips you'd like to share with us, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We're excited to bring you more content like this in the future. We have a couple more videos planned for desk setups, so stay tuned.